What's up guys? It's Jake here from Chief Life Gaming. Today, third video for the Hobby Basement update. I think this might be my last one, guys, or um, at least for a while, because the gaming table is done, as you can see in front of you. My painting bench is done, or very nearly done. And uh, that's pretty much all I want to do for, for a while uh, down here. I don't think I'm going to be doing anything else too major. So for at least for a, a good amount of time, this is going to be the last Hobby Basement update which also signifies that I will be moving back into my regularly scheduled videos, which is super exciting. I've been missing uh, missing doing the YouTube uh, like interaction with all you guys, Legion of Gamza members, all my other viewers. Missed you guys. So I'm coming back, hopefully this week, back into the swing, and uh, that's, that's pretty exciting for me. So, before we... Uh, look off the tripod. I just want to talk about this table for a second. So, guys, I love four foot by eight foot tables. Now, obviously, I'm I'm very fortunate to have the space to be able to build a table this big. I would highly recommend if you can build a table this big, you should do it. If you can squeeze it, if you can fit it in your area, go four by eight instead of four by six. It's just a lot nicer for um, certain quality of life things like placing dead space marines and uh, putting dice on the side of the battlefield. Well, okay, who are we kidding? Space marines don't die, right? They're they're fine. But just placing things on the side of the table, oh, very, very handy. So, if you can swing it, go 4 by 8 That's my, my recommendation. Again, it's huge. <laughs> like, it's a really big table, so uh, that's it's kind of rare to have space. I guess, to, to be able to pull that off. So, uh, anyway, let's go off tripod and take a look at the table. Again, before I do that, if you guys want to see, like, a detailed build for this table, let me know. I'll be happy to, like, walk you through it uh, in more detail. I'm going to do my best right now for you guys. It's pretty simple. It's nothing too fancy. And if you're looking for the underneath, a better picture of the framing underneath, check out my Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. I'm trying to be more active on those three outlets, and I have a picture of just the frame before I put the plywood or anything on it, so you guys could get a better idea of the skeleton of the table. The rest is pretty simple. So, hopefully that answers, that picture will answer any questions you guys have. Get off the tripod. Okay, so, basically, uh, the table is framed up with 2x4s, and then... I tack down a half inch sheet of plywood on top for the main surface and then on top of that because I didn't like how the plywood looked obviously plywood's not very pretty I put down a piece of quarter inch uh, masonite or MDF just to give it a better like finish so you know that's underneath the whole table and the fat mats on top so uh, let's look at the underneath I guess let's go down so give you the best look I can here. We've got 2x4s framed up underneath. I made little pockets with the 4x4s, or with the 2x4s. I'm sorry, I've probably misspoke a couple times. I made pockets with the 2x4s, 2x4s <laughs> for 4x4s to use as legs, and then I put some lag bolts through this uh, side, and through that side to help both uh, lateral movement, I guess. Like, so if, the, if somebody hits the table on this edge, it leans against it, the leg bolts from uh, uh, this side will hold the legs, and uh, if somebody hits from this side, these leg bolts will hold uh, that lateral movement, keep things from shifting. And I did that on all four legs. So, you can probably see way down there. And that, that's really it, guys. Um, the dice lip, so we're kind of like upside down here, but you can see this is the 2x4, and then this this here is a 1x6. So basically what that does is if we look at the side view, this 2x4 is underneath and it goes up to about here, right, 4 inches. So you've got 2 inches left. Some of that's taken up by the piece of plywood. And then some of that's taken up by the MDF above the plywood. So you should have like four inches for the 2x4 and then another three quarters of an inch for uh, the other two pieces, leaving you with a nice little lip. 4x4 
for your uh, your dice guard. So when you're playing, if you have dice, they don't fall off the table, and you can just kind of push them back, and they'll hit the dice wall, and uh, it, it's just handy. I really enjoy having the dice slip. So that's that's it for the table. <clears throat> Losing my voice. <clears throat> Can't talk. <clears throat> so again, guys, check out that picture. Uh, if you're if you're trying to build a table maybe and you need some pointers, I know this is this is pretty simple and it's it's very like basic construction. So uh, hopefully you guys can uh, get some some ideas at least from from what I just showed you. But let me know. I'd be happy to help you guys out or talk. I know it's 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 not a epitome of engineering here, but it works pretty well for me and and it's it's very stable. Like I was laying on it earlier to test it. And it doesn't even like move, so pretty handy. Um, I wanted to show you guys the cabinet. I'm gonna open this up because of the glare. I put some cabinet lights. I don't know if I showed you guys this in the last video, so I'm gonna show you again real quick. Uh, there, originally, there was a singular light above shining down for the whole cabinet, so it was one light. And then by the time you got to the bottom cabinet down here, or the shelf, you couldn't see a damn thing because you know all the models block block and diffuse that light or whatever. So what I did is I took some cabinet lighting, these little puck lights here, and I put um, four of them in, one on each shelf going down. And then, so there's not one on the very bottom shelf, but it does a, a significantly better job of lighting it up and um, was uh, pretty reasonable to do. So that's just a quick look at the cabinet. Pretty happy with how that turned out. Love the cabinet. Over here we've got the infantry shelves. Open these bad boys up. Just some basic stuff in here. Small infantry models, stuff like that. Various stages of paintedness. And uh, that's, that's pretty much it for the like gaming area. Now I want to show you guys my um, oh, my uh, painting desk. So here's the uh, the painting bench, and I went with uh, two shelves on either side. Pretty basic stuff. Um, I'm trying to think of something interesting to say about it. It's just a bench, paints on it. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Pretty basic. So um, that's the 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 staging area, and. Uh, kind of the centric area for my my painting where I'm going to be doing a lot of tutorial videos and stuff like that. So I'm pretty I'm pretty excited. I don't know why I keep panning down with the camera when I turn. Uh, I'm going to put you guys back on the tripod while I talk. Let's look outside. Wow. Trees. Hook. Tripod. So really guys, I want to thank you for watching, being patient uh, through this moving process. I know that uh, originally, like when I did my 500 subs give, or no, I'm sorry, 350 subs giveaway, we talked about the Nurgle narrative, and that was like months ago. But now that we're set up in the new place, I really want to get cracking on that Nurgle narrative. So hopefully, very soon, we're going to be seeing game one, and from there, I want to do uh, an addition to the Nurgle narrative roughly once a month. So, I am beyond excited for the Nurgle narrative. I hope you guys are hyped. I know it's kind of, the hype has probably died down in this downtime, but we'll get back in it, guys. It's going to be great. We're going to start again with the normal videos. I'm going to try to do a lot more tutorials and a lot more um, kind of... I don't know, everything really, hobby related videos. And I want to up my video upload schedule to like three or four a week regularly. So I hope you guys are having a great summer so far. I uh, oh, I just feel very fortunate, guys, to be able to, to do this and to provide content to you guys in this space and just, just enjoy it with you guys. So thanks for watching. I will see you guys very soon. And have a great day.